Capricorn and welcome to your November 2016 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. Like always, I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a regular. I have some wonderful incense going here. It's very billowous. Hopefully it's not too much. I'm trying to kind of fan it from the eye of the camera a little bit. Um, but yes, this is a general reading for all Capricorns. So if you are interested in something personalized just for yourself, you can always visit my website. I will have that linked in the description below. And I am having a fall sale currently, so it is a wonderful time to receive a reading. Okay, so I am doing the same format that I've been doing for the past couple months. I'm just doing it um, a little bit differently. So I'm doing the same format. I'm doing the same spread, but I'm doing it kind of in a different format. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm showing you your focal card or your oracle card for the month of November 1st, and then we'll go on to um, see the rest of the cards for the month of November. Okay, so uh, for your oracle card, Capricorn, you receive the water fairy. So the fairies really want to come out and talk for the month of November because she's the second one that I've gotten, and I've never, I've never picked one out before so um, they're really wanting to um, come out and play for the month of November so uh, the water fairy let me show you show you her just a little closer she says feelings and emotions and she's very beautiful kind of like an oriental type of fairy Okay, so the Water Fairy, just like she says, feelings and emotions, that's what she deals with. And when you receive the Water Fairy, she asks that you analyze your feelings and emotions. Are, are you having negative feelings in the month of November? Are you having positive feelings? Um, you know, because if you're having negative feelings, she comes with the promise to help you turn that around. And, um, and to be happy and joyful and calm and peaceful. Um... And just to have a handle and, and some kind of stability when it comes to your your emotions, some kind of balance there. Um, she, you know, she represents water. She's the water fairy, and uh, water is fluid; it flows, and just like water flows, things change, emotions change. So. You need to be open to change in the month of November. You need to have an open mind and an open heart. And um, just be willing to take on whatever life has come in your way. And you want to also remember that, that emotions are the key to manifestation. So if you're feeling negative, you're going to attract negativity. If you're feeling positive, you're going to attract positivity. So keep that in mind. You don't want to dwell on negative things. I know some of us, we we like to loathe sometimes. Uh, for whatever reason, we do this and, and it makes us feel better in some weird way. Um, but you... <sighs> you really don't want to do that. You don't want to have any kind of self-loathing or any kind of negative feelings at all if you can help it because it's going to attract more negativity. So, uh, so yes, keep that in mind. And, and with the water fairy at your side, you should be well, well emotionally balanced for the month of November. Just remember to stay flexible and keep an open mind and an open heart and, and things should go very well. Okay, so that is your Oracle card for the month of November, Capricorn. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, go on to your, your monthly forecast with the Gilded Tarot in just a moment. Okay, Capricorn, we are back with your monthly forecast, and each card symbolizes a week in the month. So first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. And the, the incense has died down, so um, I think that's even though I love it, it's quite good because I, I want you to have clear visuals on your card. And hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm trying not to shout, but at the same time, speak over the noise because I have the window open. It's a beautiful day, and it's just too warm with it, with it shut. So anyhow, for the first week of November, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Now actually, you have um, a couple Sevens here, and they're both in reverse. 
but we'll get to that. Okay. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for the first week. The Seven of Pentacles is about returns on an investment. So this could be um, a financial investment that you've made. This could be time and money, effort, anything like that. Um, that you've you've put effort into something or time into something or money into something and you are waiting for your return. Okay, since it is in reverse, um, there's a little bit of a negative connotation there, uh, whether uh, the investment has come back and it's not exactly what you expected. Um, or it could just be that you are still in that waiting period and you're getting anxious. And, and remember that this might be, this, this could be something, you know, that is uh, like a business type thing, or this could be something that's more of an emotional type thing. Usually since it is pentacles, it is more along the business lines, but it is possible for it to be on, on an emotional line also. So if you've put a lot of time and energy and love into another person, and you're waiting to receive those th those same things back from them, this card could symbolize something like that. Um, so, so yeah, you, you are either still in that waiting period and are very impatient and anxious, um, or you've re you've received what you have, have gotten back and it's just not exactly what you had hoped for. So, there is that. Now, if you if you still are in your waiting period, this is not a sign that you're not going to get back what you expect. This is just a sign that you have some anxious feelings, some negative feelings that you're still waiting on this and on this return, and it's just it hasn't came to you yet. Okay, for the second week of November, you have the full. So the full is about new beginnings. Uh, a fresh start um, in some area of your life. Um, it's a very positive card. Uh, it's it's uplifting. It has um, when it's upright. It has the uh, how do I want to say it? Um, you will portray an attitude of uh, childlike um, happiness and innocence. Um, you will you will look at things with wonder and awe that type of thing um, so you're approaching this new situation with high hopes um, perhaps high expectations and you have this this childlike um, happiness and curiosity and and willingness to, to jump in you know feet first and and get your toes wet that type of of energy so it's it's a very positive card I'm not sure what you're you're starting what you're doing what what it is that is new to you but you know you're you're definitely starting some kind of new beginning now this could be anything from a new project a new career um, a, a new a new relationship it could be anything so keep that in mind um, for the third week of November, you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So here's another seven in reverse. I think that um, the two sevens are probably connected. Um, they don't necessarily have to be, but I think for the majority of you, they are going to be connected. Um, the Seven of Cups in reverse indicates that you are making plans. You are making decisions. You are no longer in this this period of wondering or or um, fantasizing or or you know playing the what if game you are you are putting forth plans and making you know decide precise decisions so I do think that you know perhaps whatever it is that you are waiting for in this first week you're like Okay, or, or maybe you got back what you were waiting for and you're just like, okay, well, this has helped me put forth or come up with the rest of the plan of what I want to do. And in this third week, you are, you are doing so. So you have a lot of choices or you've had a lot of choices 
That's what all those cups, all those seven cups symbolize as choices. And when it's in its reverse position, you are you are nailing that choice down. You're, you're saying, this is what I want, this is what I want to do, and this is how I'm going to go about it. So that's, that's a positive thing. That's a very positive card. I actually like this card in reverse um, better than I do in its upright position, because in its upright position, you're still in kind of a flux, like you have all these choices and you don't know what to do. Um, but when it's in reverse, you've made your decision. Okay. For the last week of November, you have the Queen of Wands. Now, Capricorn, I don't believe this is you. There is a small possibility that this is you. I'm sorry, there's like some kind of big truck outside my window. <laughs> okay, I think it's going away. Um, yeah, there's some kind of small possibility that this Queen of Wands is you. But I think for the majority of you, this is somebody else coming into your life. And this is going to most likely be a, f a fire sign and most likely be a female. Now, it doesn't have to be a female. Um, it's just feminine energy. And um, like I said, they're most likely a fire sign. So I would look towards an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this person is uplifting. It's upright. So this is an uplifting person. She has high energy. She's ambitious. She's assertive um, in a positive way. And <laughs> and she's a go-getter. She She's there to motivate you. She's there to take you out to have fun and that kind of thing. So she has your back. And if you know anyone who is a fire sign, you know exactly what I mean, what kind of person they are. And um, and all the things that you love about that person will be coming out in this last this last uh, week of November. Now, if this card does represent yourself, then you are just putting on those characteristics for the last week. You're very high energy. You're very um, motivated. And, um, you know, you're being a go-getter. And perhaps those, those decisions that you've made in the third week have um, brought that out in you. You know, you've made your decision and now you know what you want to do and you're, you're going out and you're doing it head, headstrong, um, just like a fire sign would. Now, I would also like to add that the Queen of Wands, um, she is a very fertile character. So if you are um, planning on or trying to conceive, then this is a very, very positive omen. This would be the last week of November, in the last week of November, you really want to, um, you know, get busy with things if that's what you are, are wanting. Um, she could also symbolize that somebody close to you, friend or family, whatever, um, may be becoming pregnant or having a child or something to do with fertility. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. Well, Capricorn, that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please remember to push that like button. And I want to thank um, those of you who have shared my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because I do this every single month. And I will talk to you all again next month. Bye-bye.